Hi, I'm Claire. And I'm Alexander. And we are both professional ballet dancers with the Royal Ballet. And we are <laughs> hashtag dancers do DIY. <laughs> After being in my flat for about eight years, I'd kind of done everything that I could possibly do DIY-wise and things like that. And so when we decided to look for a house, we thought it would be nice to have something that we could put our own stamp on a bit more. Yeah, yeah, that's good. That, that's, that's what I would say as well. <laughs> <laughs> so we've both owned our own properties separately before owning this place together. And we've done, you know, some cosmetic things together, decorating, painting. And I think actually as a, a team, we work really well because I'm very cautious and afraid of everything. And Claire will just get started um, at the drop of a hat. So um, we, we meet in the middle, I think, um, and it's quite a good pairing because we actually do get stuff done. Um, whereas if I was in charge, we'd probably just sit there going, oh my God, I'm too scared. <laughs> I guess we are just trying to take it day by day and um, some bits we are trying to do ourselves and other bits we are getting um, other people in to do bits but we're hoping by the end of this month we'll be able to sleep in the room that we're decorating which is quite exciting so this is our room <laughs> that we are decorating today this is the front bedroom um, which at the moment is the main master bedroom we actually have I think quite very similar styles mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. especially with colour. Our ideas kind of moved definitely more to a greener colour palette. I don't know whether that was around the amount of time that we were actually spending in our houses and our homes right now. I mean, actually you know in some rooms maybe you want something a little bit more I don't know, relaxing or yeah. um, calming. Uh, <laughs> so <Yeah>. stressed! Um. <laughs> so we went with green too for the walls which we're actually going to do full walls and the skirting boards and including the back of the door and the radiator so it's very much one, um, one colour and then we got was it green, green six. six that we're actually going to have some built-in wardrobes put in and we're going to paint that in the darker green. Maybe well, it works. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So shall I just go for it? You get in there. You, this is this is your moment. You've been waiting for this. I know you have. <laughs> One thing that I think works really well with dancers is that Claire will go into that deep squat. You know, it's not like you just do one section in the middle and then you know, sit down and do it. It's like, no, we'll do the deep grand plie <laughs> to get down there straight away. Yeah. And then go all the way up to the ceiling with a demi point. Like anyone posting for Lick, like using green tea, we like send it to each other, we're like, green tea. <laughs> and I love it because we both follow the same account, but we still send it to each other. You know, we both know that we love seeing it, it's like, yeah, but if you've seen it, send from me. Everyone that we were sort of speaking to, well, my parents were like, are you gonna wear your point shoes? I was like, no, mum. <laughs> I think that's taking it a bit too far. <laughs> How's it going? I'm sweating a bit now. <laughs> I think what's interesting with this colour is that even though it's like quite a dark colour, it's quite um, fresh as well, but calming and I like it. It can be quite handy <laughs> having a, a ballet dancer partner, hey? I only do this because I'm scared of the way that Claire uses a ladder. This is much safer for us because I've seen you get up and down there and I'm like, oh my God, I'm so scared. It's good for me. Part of my training as well. Yeah. Okay, I'm slipping a bit now. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like you are, um, what's the word I'm looking for? You're actually slipping. <laughs> That's a grand plie right there. Uh, plie. <laughs> Don't try this at home, guys. Yeah. So, we have had our built-in wardrobes installed. We had a slight delay on the doors, so that's why we are a little bit frantic <laughs> at the moment. Painting, because the carpet's being put up tomorrow, and as this is quite a dark colour, we don't want to ruin the carpets. I just don't trust myself <laughs> either to be painting and not pour it all over a fresh carpet, so. 
yeah, we're really, really happy with the way Green 2 has turned out on the walls. And we also decided to paint the radiator and the skirting boards, like just to have that like real sort of cocoon feeling yeah. of that we were just being wrapped up in all this green. <laughs> and yeah, so, I mean, so far, I'm very happy with the wardrobe color. This is our first time painting MDF. And because it's quite porous, it was suggested that we just put a little bit of water in with the paint to sort of do a, a mist coat first, and then we'll go over it again and that should seal it quite nicely. So yeah, I'm pleased that we got that bit of advice in because that's not something I would have known. Um, <laughs> and I probably would have just ended up like tie-dyeing the, the wood. <laughs> There's very little paint on here. <laughs> Teamwork or just getting in the way. What's up? <laughs> I'm just watching Claire paint the inside of the drawer. <laughs> oh! Hi. You're doing a great job. Thank you. Close you a bit more now. So? I was just talking to the drawer. Oh, okay, cool. All right, <laughs> carry on. I just said, I just close you a bit more now. <laughs> I feel like we're going to need to do this before we do this. For the drips. But no more because we will need to lean on that. But also I feel like we should have done that before doing the drawers. Well, look, I, I don't want to say anything, but um, you know, I did wonder whether our plan of attack had been fully thought out before we just went straight in, but... I know, what did Glenn say to us before he left? He's like, take your time, take your time yeah. don't rush it. Like, if you're getting frustrated, just stop. Like, he's really, like, yeah, really be careful really careful. And we're mind. like, but the carpet's coming tomorrow. <laughs> we're hoping that we'll be sleeping on a bed. Yeah. In two days time. That, yes. That's the plan. So currently we're on a mattress in the living room, which is directly below here. Yeah, the, the mattress that will go on the bed is currently on the floor. I'm, I'm looking forward to waking up and just sort of being able to stand up rather than having to press up. <laughs> Roll. Um, oh man, I, I struggle to get off the floor. <laughs> so that's going to be a good day. So the day we painted the wardrobes, the next day the carpet went in and we are just beyond happy with how it's turned out really, aren't we? I feel like the colours are really sort of rich and it, it looks really expensive, doesn't it? it looks, yeah. It, looks, it feels, feels really nice in here. Yeah. And we've tried to, to not just buy everything from one place and have the exact same brand or furniture throughout because yeah. I mean I, I, I'm worried that I would just end up making it look a bit like a, um, a showroom. And also we've tried to also not buy too much new stuff because we do also have plans with the rest of the house, to, of the house <laughs> to do. So also sort of incorporating what stuff we, we, we yeah, already had. So the Royal Up House has reopened again so we are fully back into what was more like our normal schedule pre-COVID and stuff so it's really really nice to know that like when we come home late from a show or you know had a long day of rehearsals we have our little sanctuary to rest and sleep well in. What's next? Well we had the structural engineer come a couple of weeks ago and that pack has come back. Our planning permission was accepted and all those things so now it's more about going to builders and actually looking at prices which is where the the decisions will be made on what exactly we will do first, whether it's like loft or downstairs area. In the, yeah. in the end, we want to put a couple of rooms and an ensuite upstairs in the loft, and then a, a ground floor extension as well, which will be the, the kitchen and dining. As to which one we do first, it, it, it will depend on what comes up with the house and, yeah. and what it tells us, but yeah, we, we're looking to sort of get started on that in the next uh, couple of months. We definitely will be getting some help. <laughs> I've seen a lot of people on the Lick account and stories like really, really doing amazing things themselves and we watch and we're always like, wow, Good. that's... <laughs> I have my paintbrush, I will get involved with this. But we, we will definitely be doing bits and pieces that we can, can do. 
and definitely picking our paint colours, that's definitely one we'll be doing. Mm -hmm.